All right, viewers, two BJP leaders, Devendra Fadnavis and Kushbu Sundar, have broken ranks with the BJP and come out strongly in support of Bilkis Bano. Joining me this evening is actor Pooja Bedi, who feels strongly for Bilkis Bano. She started a campaign online. Pooja, what hit home when you read Bilkis's case? What made you launch this you know, campaign asking for people to come out and speak up for Bilkis? Uh, you know, I come from a family of freedom fighters, uh, you know, who fought alongside Mahatma Gandhi and were jailed for the freedom of this country. We're talking about personal freedom, human rights. Um, my family, my, my mother, my grandmother, we've all fought for women's rights for decades. And then you have a situation where the most heinous, brutal crime is committed. And rapists are walking free they are being garlanded on independence day is when they set free from prisons you know i mean for me i'm just looking at the i'm looking at prime minister modi giving us giving his 75th uh, you know speech talking about how we should view women differently how we should you know give them a space of dignity in our country and the very same day you have a bjp mla you know mr rahul ji calling them sanskari brahmans there's something seriously wrong with the governance of this country, the laws of this country, and the reaction of the population of our country. There has not been a mass outrage as there should be. That has also hit home. Does it have to happen to your mother, to your sister, or your daughter for you to react and respond and show outrage in this country? You know, in a way, Puja, you are right because we don't see the kind of outrage that possibly we saw during the time of Nirbhaya. Many would suggest... Uh, that it's, it's, it's rather brave of you to come out and voice your concern for Bilkis, to say what you are, because many are not, most are not, rather. What is, no, I don't understand what is brave about this. I don't understand what is brave about speaking up against atrocities. What is brave about saying that criminals like that should be put right back in jail? which is true. What is brave about saying that the, that the judiciary needs serious review if they're letting rapists out early on account of good behavior? Seriously? What is brave about saying that? What is brave about saying, you know, that, that people should show outrage? That we should all collectively as a voice speak up. What is so brave about this? The fact that it involves, you know, the Godra riots. What is so brave about this? There's a woman out there who was brutally not just raped, gang raped. Her mother was made to watch her being raped. She watched her mother being raped. She watched her sisters being raped. Her three-year-old child had her head bashed. Does that not outrage this nation? What is brave about saying we should care and that we should speak up? This should not be her fight. This should not be her fight alone. I, I repeat, what if this had happened? I'm asking every viewer out there. What if this had happened to you? What if you were raped? What if you were gang raped? What if your mother was raped in front of you and your sisters were raped in front of you and your child's head was bashed in? Would you want those men to walk free early on good behavior, being garlanded and being called Saskari Brahmans? Would you want that? And if you don't want that in your life, don't look away because tomorrow you will be the next victim because the laws are failing us. The government is failing us. And who will support you then? Do you want this to be your lone fight? Should it be her lone fight? You know, I, Pooja, I know you're emotional, but uh, I'd, I'll tell you why I say that it's brave because over the course of the last 24 hours, I must have made personally 45 phone calls to a lot of Bollywood stars who on the phone said that we are with you, you know, that uh, we are standing with Bilkis. I asked them to come out and speak like you. They said, you know, we can't right now. We, you know, we don't think um, it's the right time. Therefore, I think or rather I'd say that it's brave of you to do so. Why is there no, nobody speaking? These are the questions we must ask. Why is nobody speaking? Is it because Muslims are involved? Is it because Godra is involved? Is it because BJP MLAs have been involved in calling them Sanskari Brahmins and Galanding and VHPs are involved? Is that why we're being, I'm being called brave? 
I'll tell you the excuse I got why they said that they don't want to speak up. A lot of them say they have movies coming up and uh, you know the current cancel boycott culture they don't want to you know get into the middle of something which could invoke a negative reaction. That's why they say they don't want to stand up. Why would anyone boycott the film of somebody who's standing up for the rights of women? Why would anyone in fact people would vote for you? In fact, I think this goes seriously against the government. Our prime minister is talking about women's rights and women's dignity on Independence Day. The same day that these guys are let out, garlanded, and called Sanskari Brahmins. Who should we boycott? People who speak up or people who support these heinous, brutal criminals? Who should we boycott it? You know, there's been a question that we've been asking, at least on India Today, uh, Pooja, is asking every one of our viewers because uh, you know i remember reporting through nirbhaya i remember anchoring through nirbhaya and there was a consensus that built there was unity that built for uh, you know nirbhaya against the rapist of nirbhaya uh, you've spoken very passionately emotionally at that we value that but what's the message that you want to give to a lot of viewers who possibly strangely are sitting on the fence on something as sensitive and important as this I have already said, if this was your mother, if this was you, if this was your sisters, if this was your child's head being banged and those people came out and were garlanded and called Sanskari Brahmins and were out early on account of good behavior, how would you feel, my dear Indian nation, all you women, all you mothers who are watching this, all you men who are watching this, how would you feel if that family was you? Because you know what? Tomorrow, that family may just be you. And then you will have the support of nobody because you didn't speak up. Do unto others as you would want others to do unto you. Speak up. It's one country. We're a democracy of the people, by the people, for the people. Speak up. Show your outrage. Go sign those petitions. Put it out on your social medias. Boycott people who support criminals like that. Garland, those who are actually going out there and helping this poor woman and her family. Can you imagine what she has had to endure and what it feels like to have those people come out and be garlanded? Come on. This is my country, India. Where are you? Where are you? Have you become a nation of mutes, billions of mute people? And if so, ask yourself why? You know, Pooja, I'm glad I called you. I'm glad I have you on the show. I'm glad you're asking the right question on where are you? Have we become a nation of mute spectators? Um, but in a twisted way, we possibly have because the voices aren't that many. There are few and far between and we are hoping to give them space right here on the network. But Pooja, um, do you think somewhere down the line, because the way things have happened, we do owe Bilkis an apology? We owe her an apology if we don't stand up for her. We owe her an apology if we don't sit back and really review judicial systems that, that, that meet this kind of injustice out. Then we should apologize to her. And yes, every single Indian out there who is not supporting her, who is not speaking up for her, they definitely owe Bilkis an apology. Pooja, thank you for taking the time out. Thank you for standing up for Bilkis Banu. Thank you for urging your countrymen, like you said, that stand up for Bilkis Banu, because if you don't do that today, nobody's going to do that for you tomorrow. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for being that India.